Hey guys, so today in this video we are going to talk about sodium thiosulfate. Sodium thiosulfate is a really useful reagent in inorganic chemistry as a reducer. It's a really good reducing agent and also to neutralize any halogen spills. Like for example if you spill bromine water or bromine chlorine water, you can quickly neutralize them, even hydrochloric acid. So today we are going to do some of these reactions. So let's go on. For the first reaction, I'm going to take some bromine water and put that. But first we should make a solution of sodium thiosulfate. So for that, I take some water. and make a solution of sodium thiosulfate. So here it is. Okay, that's not a sodium thiosulfate solution, it's just water. So this is sodium thiosulfate. It's like really pretty crystals. So from the spatula, I'm going to take a few scoopfuls of sodium thiosulfate and dissolve it in water. Also, dissolving sodium thiosulfate in water is really endothermic. So, this beaker now cools down a lot. So I think this will be enough. So while it's still dissolving, now we'll go on adding bromine water, hydrochloric acid and chlorine water into these small test tubes. Let's release the bromine water. Okay, it does seem like something has gone wrong with this lid, so now I can't open it. I think something has happened, I couldn't open it. The lid has stuck to the bottle or something, so very quickly we'll make a solution of bromine, of bromine water. So for that, we need three chemicals. We need sodium bromide or potassium bromide as our source of bromine and calcium hypochlorite or sodium hypochlorite or potassium permanganate or manganese dioxide or hydrogen peroxide any oxidizing agent and hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid so in this case I'm using sodium bromide here some calcium hypochlorite and some hydrochloric acid we have here so let's go make it 
So first we make a solution of sodium bromide. So this con concentration seems somewhat okay. Sodium bromide has a very large solubility in water so it will dissolve in no time. So now we add some calcium hypochlorite. No, first we add hydrochloric acid. But still we should wait until all this sodium bromide dissolves. Also just like sodium thiosulfate, dissolving sodium bromide in water is also endothermic. Still, because it has a high solubility in water, it should dissolve. Okay, so to somewhat extent, it seems that it has dissolved. Okay, now, now we should add hydrochloric acid. So here I add acid. And now the last thing we need to do is we should add the calcium hypochlorite. This will produce chlorine which will react with the sodium bromide to make sodium chloride, table salt and bromine which will dissolve in water to make a solution of bromine, bromine water which is orange in color. So, here it happens. So, this orange color shows the evidence of brown. If you look closely here, you can see like an orange, pale orange gas, that is bromine gas. This, is, this reaction is actually very under the exothermic that it makes some of the bromine to boil out so as because of that maybe this gas comes but I eventually as it cools down even it cools down okay so now we have a perfectly orange translucent solution so this is our bromine water
Und es ist auch Chlorin geworden. See the cloud in it. It has this light yellow solution. And finally, hydrochloric acid. Okay, so here are the things, now we'll explore the reaction. Here's our sodium thiosulfate, completely dissolved. First, we'll add it to bromine water. And clearly see this orange solution. Now, see what happens once we put the sodium thiosulfate. Yellow precipitate which quickly formed that is sulfur. So almost instantly the orange color of bromine disappears, indicating that the bromine has been neutralized. Even the bromine gas has been neutralized, even if there is no gas right now. Same should happen to chlorine water as well. Yes, something is happening, something is precipitating out. And yeah, that is also as well. And there it goes, chlorine disappeared. For hydrochloric acid, it should instantly form sulfur because this is actually highly concentrated. And yes, it did. Also, one major use of sodium thiosulfate for our health is if you got if you accidentally got poisoned by cyanide, like sodium cyanide or, or potassium cyanide, whatever cyanide C and C and ions, you can get uh, the sodium thiosulfate can neutralize sodium cyanide or any cyanide into harmless cyanate. So that is one major use of sodium thiosulfate for our health. And also in laboratory purposes, like I showed you here, if you accidentally got any chlorine spills, bromine spills, or even iodine solution spills, you can quickly neutralize them by this sodium thiosulfate. So, sodium thiosulfate is really useful in both organic and inorganic chemistry, but mostly in 
inorganic chemistry. So that's it for today. If you like this video, please subscribe, like and comment whatever you want. Ask any question from me and I will give you a reply. So see you in the next video.